So this is actually day one of our trip to San Diego here. It's Sunday, and look what I get to wake up to. Let's check this out. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Let's get this day started. Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode. That's somebody's running behind me. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Mad Trippin'. Today is Sunday, July 23rd, 2023. It is 6.20 p.m. and 71 degrees. Are you ready? Let's start tripping. Oh my God, it's slow-mo. I've been seeing this guy ever since I've been coming here. So when I got here yesterday, it was pretty much go do what I needed to do real quick. I should have been filming it the whole time. I'll learn my lesson, but I need to go do what I had to do real quick, get everything unpacked and settled. And then it was just chill and hang with the family the whole night. So I really didn't get a lot of filming done. And even today, I've been running around so much. I really haven't got a lot of filming done today. So I'm going to start right now. After I got the car unloaded with everybody, come down here. This is Strand Way. It's a one-way road. So after unloading the car, putting all the luggage away, getting yourself situated, this is one of the first two places that I would hit. Traditionally, one of the first two places I would hit, first couple places. And the first one would be this place right here to grab a little grub. One of the other reasons that I really like staying at the 706 Sunset Court was when you left the house, you come down that little walkway there that you take to Mission Boulevard here. And there was one of my favorite little hangouts, favorite little family hangout. It used to be called Acapulco Joe's. For those of you watching this video who remember, who have been down to San Diego in the far past, used to be a little bar out here called Acapulco Joe's, what we used to call in Phoenix, a, uh, like a dive bar, I guess. But they have new owners. Uh, matter of fact, I think, so last time I was here was about eight years ago. And I believe that's when they bought the place and finally had it remodeled. They might have bought it the year before or two. And he put, the guy I was talking to, put a lot of money into it. You can tell the place was definitely cleaned up a lot. It has a nice little porch area. That's another reason we'd like to come down here and check it out. Now it's called the single fin. Let's go see if that's the room. So before you come up to the single fin, I think that's what it's called here. We've got a nice little room out here called Rose Manny's. We have a nice little beautiful sitting out here. I'm guessing they put that out there from COVID. So our first stop right there would be the single fin that used to be Acapulco Joe's right here on Mission Boulevard. But then after we left the single fin, we went right across the street here to Rad Bike and Board. So this guy has been here forever. A lot of these shops have, I noticed. So I went down and got sandals today. That was the original owner since I've been coming down here. We're talking, geez, late 80s, early 90s when our family, well, our family first started coming down here in probably 84, 85, uh, getting the hotels. But if you can, head over to Rad Rentals right there. I got my bike for $70 for the week, Saturday to Friday, right here off of Mission Boulevard. And we are on the bay side of the road here, Sunset Court. It's my favorite house. We'll take you to look up there. I'll show you my favorite blue house if they don't have a bunch of people sitting out on the porch enjoying their vacation. I don't want to ruin anybody's vacation. But we're on the bay side, so let's go ahead and go take a look at the bay. And across Mission Boulevard here, on the other side, is this beautiful bay. This would be the east side of Mission Boulevard. It's very calm today. It's very calm out on the bay today. I've, all the years I've been here, I don't ever think I've seen it just so still and peaceful. Of course, maybe I'm not out here at this time of day. Man, they have a lot of hoogie boards, surfboards, boats to take out on the bay here. There's somebody out there paddle boarding out in the distance. And they come around and start heading north. And there is the catamaran off in the distance there, where my sister's staying. It's a beautiful day today. The weather is nice. Be patient. Everybody is coming here on the Saturday that you're coming down. If you're doing a week rental, traffic gets a little busy. Notice traffic is a little calmer right now. But just be patient. And if you're driving, drivers, be on the lookout. Everybody here is coming here for a nice relaxing time. They're not really paying attention to look this way to see if cars are coming out or to see if cars are turning in. So be wary of the pedestrians. 
they're out here relaxing, talking, having a good time. Maybe a couple are having a little, a couple things to drink and aren't paying that much of attention. It's your responsibility as a driver to make sure you don't run them over. So when you pull out of these alleyways here, pull out slowly. Look both ways, take your time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a video of this while the whole family's not down there. Look at this, isn't that cool? That's what my cousin, there's my cousin there, but that is what they rented there. So what they do is they set all the chairs up in a circle, have two s'more stations, some tiki torches, and two campfires going. They already got it going. Um, I'm gonna go down and grab a bite of chicken real quick before we come down and have some s'mores, but how cool is that that she rented that out for everybody? Look at that, isn't that neat? Too cool. And they come and set it all up for you. I don't know the price on it, I'll have to ask her, but that is absolutely too awesome. So here's that setup at night as we get a little closer. I ran back to get a pick for the guitar for somebody. The other half of our family here is over on Tangiers Court, and that's where they had this little shindig set up in front of. Our house is over on Whiting, so it's a good 10 minute walk, but it's a beautiful 10 minute walk. But look at that little setup there, isn't that beautiful? It's getting close to 8 o'clock at night, maybe a little later. I haven't checked the time yet. The weather's nice. It's beautiful out. A little bit of a breeze. The ocean waves crashing in. You can't beat it. And you have this beautiful setup here. They provide all the chairs, the tiki torches, the fire pits, all the s'mores you need. We have plenty of s'mores. Then they provide these glow in the dark toys for the kids to play with. Then they come and clean it all up. How awesome is that? Let's get a good little view here of the entire fam out there just enjoying life to the fullest. Look at that. I can tell you, it just doesn't get any better than that. All right, so I just dropped my sister Luke off again. It's after 10 o'clock. It's a beautiful evening. No jacket needed. That was a beautiful beach party. Highly recommend if you have the money to give it a shot. This is a beautiful walk out through here from the catamaran. This is heading towards the bay area here. So as you head out towards the Bay Area here, they have the beautiful restaurant here, the beautiful rooms over here. I highly recommend you get one of those if you ever get a chance. Staying in the tower. See the tower there behind me? You never get a chance to stay there. Beautiful views overlooking San Diego here. I'm going to show you a bit of the Bay here. Coming out. As you come out of the... Okay, let's show you. That's where we just walked. As you come out of Catamaran, there's a restaurant right there. There's your bungalows over here. Just look at this beautiful view of the Bay, especially if you're staying in the tower up here. Look at that gorgeous shot of the Bay of May. Now we're going to walk back to the beach bungalow here. Heading down the Mission Bay walkway here. Beautiful night. It's almost about 10.30. I love this big beach chair they have here for pictures. That sea rolled off in the distance. It was a big old cloud of smoke there from the fireworks that I missed. What a beautiful evening out here. Absolutely gorgeous. The, sun's pick <laughs> the phone is picking up more light than my eyes. I can actually see the pathway better with the phone on. I'm going to give you another shot of this bay here. It's just too beautiful not to. There's that cloud of smoke. That was from the fireworks there. Just slowly drifting away. Highly, highly recommend the catamaran. Always had a good experience here. A lot of stuff going on for you. 
there you go look at that cloud it was over here <laughs> it's drifting away that is the firework smoke how cool is that I'm telling you, Mad Troopers, I can't get enough of this right now. Look how those lights are reflecting off the water. It's absolutely gorgeous. A very picturesque moment here. Look at the lights just reflecting off the bay like that. Even the cloud from the fireworks. Oh, I just heard a splash in the water. Oh, he said that was deep. That's where they're jumping off the pier right there and swimming. I love it. I'd be afraid of sharks, I ain't gonna lie. Even though it's in the bay, they can get in the bay. But I'm just going to give you a little panoram here without me talking. I'll bet you love that. These lights reflecting off the water. This is the part I love right here. It's 11.39 p.m., 68 degrees with a light breeze. It's absolutely beautiful out. With all the changes that have been made in the past eight years since I've been here, new houses have gone up. Some of the old houses I liked have been torn down and rebuilt, including the one we're staying at right there. That's old Whiting Court. With all these changes, new restaurants opening up. Some of our favorite hot spots closed down. Something new has replaced it. This view has stayed the same. Look at that beautiful view, man. The city lights there. All the hotels on the hill. There's a ship out at sea. The waves are crashing in. Over to the north is Crystal Pier. And up on the hill there, and look at all those bright lights. It's not. It's a lot brighter in the camera, I have to admit, than it is in my own eyes here, but it's just a beautiful sight. The view has always been the same since as long as I can remember. There's the view to the south. I forget what the name of that pier is way out there. Still people out on the beach, a couple people still out on the boardwalk. It's a Sunday night. Pretty much everybody in our household and the other household is turned in for the night after that beautiful party that we had. Gorgeous view to the north. I mean, you see hotel is up there. Highly recommend. You need to get out of that Arizona heat. You need to decompress. You need to recharge the brain. I mean, this is it right here. You get a chance and you have the money. Don't waste the time. Get out here and do it. I know that's a lot easier said than done. I was definitely blessed and lucky to have the family coming out this year in such a large group. So that saved me a lot of money on hotel costs. They took care of the house. Absolutely wonderful of them to do. And the other family is down there on Tangier's Court. My favorite house is that Blue House 704. We're going to have to take a look at that tomorrow. I was going to try to do that today. That did not work out. It's been a beautiful day, though. Nice overcast day to start. Clearing up. Might rain tomorrow. We'll check it out. Well, Mad Troopers, that'll do it for this evening. I'm going to head back to the house and get a little bit of rest. Do some video editing. That'll do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. You are so greatly appreciated. Have a great rest of your day. Better tomorrow. Please click that subscribe button. Trip over that like button. And remember, never stop tripping. <laughs>